All right. Well, welcome back to Metro Health Emergency Ultrasound for another ultrasound short. Uh, this is an interesting image, I think has some really helpful teaching points in it. So what we're looking at here is a Baker cyst, right? We're doing a DVT ultrasound, and we're in the posterior popliteal fossa, right? So if we just orient ourselves anatomically speaking, this is going to be a patient's posterior, this is going to be the anterior part. Over here on the left, we have the patient's medial side. And over here on the right, we have the patient's lateral side. Um, and the fluid collection in here, right, this fluid collection right in here is the Baker cyst. And what's helpful about this image is it really shows the key anatomical landmarks. So a Baker cyst is basically defined as a cystic fluid collection that exists between the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle and the semimembranosus muscle or tendon, right? And so we see here on the medial side, we have the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle as it's coming up from the calf, right? And on the lateral side, we have this semimembranosus muscle belly as it's heading into a tendon as it's coming down as part of the hamstring complex. So the two of them are going to cross the knee joint, be involved in a lot of movement across that knee joint and the ankle joint. Um, and we see this cystic structure between these two anatomical parts, defining it as a Baker's cyst. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you want more of these tips and helpful information, hit that subscribe button, follow us for more helpful ultrasound content. See you guys. Bye.